it's moving to me and I know it's very, very important to Raquel. Raquel has mentioned to us that she wasn't able to sleep last night. She's like up in her room right now preparing for this very major day. So, Mabuhai Squad, the reason why Raquel is here to visit Toronto, Canada is because... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Raquel is meeting her mom today. Okay guys, let me give you guys a backgrounder. So in the Philippines, Raquel mentioned to us several years ago, um, maybe around the time we actually first met Raquel, that her mom lived in London, Ontario, which is a city that is maybe two hours outside of Toronto. So I was like, hey, cool, that's great. So it turns out Raquel's mom migrated to Canada and Raquel has not seen her mom since she was maybe a teenager. So I also believe that they lost touch. Knowing that story, uh, this year when RJ and I had scheduled our trip to Toronto for Kimmy's, my best friend's wedding, one night in conversation, I was like, hey, RJ, you know what would be so cool? Why don't we bring Raquel to Toronto so she can meet her mom? The idea was kind of like just an offhand discussion. We didn't think really that it might happen, but turns out it did. <laughs> so um, we brought the idea up to Raquel and she was totally game and we applied for a visa because as you know people from the Philippines um, Filipino citizens need to get a tourist visa when visiting Canada and it was a long process Raquel had several like you know requirements to secure it we knew she would get the visa because I mean she's so well traveled within Asia already but remember that vlog when Raquel first learned that she had got the visa to go to Canada she was going crazy hi Raquel you're on speaker, I'm with Mikey, and we're vlogging because we just received your uh, your passport here. It's not open yet, but we'll open okay. it now, okay? You will open it now? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't opened it yet, but for, for the information of everyone, Raquel uh, agreed for us to open the envelope because she's actually out of town right now. Yeah. Open it now! Oh my god! <laughs> I just open it. Oh my god. I'm nervous, guys. <gasps> oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. Woo! You got it! Yes. <laughs> it's multiple for 10 years. It's 10 year visa, cuz. <laughs> Her being so happy and excited was more than just the prospect of visiting Toronto, Canada for the first time. It also meant that Raquel was finally going to see her mom after a very, very long time. So obviously, Raquel right now is a bag of nerves. She told us she hasn't been able to sleep last night. We're gonna document this historic event in Raquel's life. By the way guys, if you're new to the vlogs, Welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. We are here in Toronto, Canada, where I was born and raised, now living in Manila. Guys, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhai Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. And something tells me today is going to radiate positivity and family and it's just, oh, I'm getting goosebumps already just thinking about this. I can't believe this is happening. I'm so happy for Raquel. Mommy, yeah. you, you know. still bring him around in that? Yeah, I never. Pinoy mommy does not let you use your own feet. You'll forget how to use them one day. I don't know if Pinoy watches the vlog. Maybe. When my mom watches it, I'm sure Pinoy is around. Look at how attentive he is. He's waiting for my mom. Pinoy, you are so bonded with mommy. She's coming, don't worry. Okay guys, we're on the road. Hi Raquel. Hi. Good morning. Oh my god, I look so purple. How are you feeling? <laughs> Nervous. Well, we are extremely happy for you. Yeah, we're excited for you. Yep. Okay, my boy squad. 
We uh, have been spending an awesome three, four hours just chatting and like eating and catching up. But I am pleased to present to you someone special. Raquel, would you like to introduce this special person? Boy Squad, <laughs> meet the OG Totally Rock, my mom. <laughs> Hi, Tita. Hi. Yes. And your mom's name is? Urbana. 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 She has a Canadian accent now. You guys look like twins. Can I see both of you in frame? Seriously. Like like you guys look like sisters. It's crazy. Oh my god, look at it. Look at the resemblance. And guys, you will not believe the things they have in common. It's crazy. First of all, they're both clearly fashionistas. Look it. This is like, you just came from Paris. Like fashion week. She's wearing crop top too. She's wearing a crop top. Yes. It's awesome. And. Check out their bags. Wait, look at their bags. This here is Raquel's. This here is Urbana's. Look at that. Look at that. Guys, we were just, it's crazy. She did her hair this color, like purplish, silver, last week. And guess what Urbana, what color Urbana was thinking of getting last week? The same color. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, otherwise we look like a <laughs> <Yeah>. twins. singer. <laughs> <laughs> look like a K-pop. Yeah. It's twins. Oh, boy squad, it's really a special moment. Oh. Yes. Thank you for thank you for accommodating us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> Yay! Yay! So good. We're now heading to Walmart. <laughs> Gotta buy some stuff. Okay, apparently tomatoes are a big deal here. Are these cheap, Tita? Yeah, very cheap. Look how big they are. Are those like I just want GMO free? Wow, guys. The products for pets here at Walmart. It's like rows and rows of pet products, pet, pet food. It's crazy. I'm gonna see if I can buy something for Ligaya or the chicken. Oh my, look at this bee and butterfly house. Interesting. Okay, I can see how it can be for bees. You know, like solitary bees that like need holes like this. They lay their eggs in here and raise their larvae in these like little holes. But how butterflies? Interesting. Okay, here we go. All natural bird toys, seven bucks. Do you guys think Ligaya would like this? Hmm. This here is a treat stick, honey flavor. It's got an African gray on the cover. Maybe she might like this. And I checked on the back. The first three ingredients are not sugar and they're not corn. Hmm. I thought honey is not allowed for parrots. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh Look God. at this house decor. Dragonflies. Wow. Happiness, homemade. It's nice, right? Look at this. Follow your dreams. See? There's even butterflies. ants? No. <laughs> for sure. There's so much stuff. Live for today and make it so beautiful that it's worth remembering. <gasps> I just want to buy all of these signs. Country life, look, see? All of these speak to us. Look, farmer's market. <laughs> I really like the dragonflies. Will that fit in a Balik buying box? I'm not sure. So funny that we're like buying decor for the home, which is not even built yet. Won't be done for like another year or so. Love is like the wind. You can see it. But you can feel it. Yeah. Oh. So that means How boyfriend. It's just the wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> They're both single. <laughs> Another thing they have in common. <laughs> we bought a lot of stuff <laughs> for the house. This is my favorite so far. This Which? is happiness is homemade. This is quite the truck. Yeah, you like it? It's really nice. <laughs> Look at the interior. Yeah, it's fancy. It's messy. No, it's no, fancy. It's fancy. <laughs> RJ and I were like, wow, the color inspiring nice. for when we buy a car. <laughs> we're out here at the back of Urbana's yard and look at this dog, guys. What's the name? Legacy? Mm -hmm. Hi, Legacy. Yes. A black lab, gorgeous dog. RJ, I want a black lab. We'll get all kinds. All kinds. Okay. So In the farm. <laughs> yeah, the farm. Yeah. Dogs would love it. And we're having rosé, yes. So apparently, Tita Urbana is a dancing queen <laughs> in the clubs. 
What can you dance to, Tita? Anything. Display the music. Any oh. move. Oh. oh super. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put the music. Someone on. commented on our photo. They say it's double trouble. Oh my god. It's very true. <laughs> Funny. When you get drunk. Oh yeah. I so do. you drink? Oh yeah. I oh the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. <laughs> That's a good word. Because I was asking, are you single? Because I said I can, we can go out one day. Oh. No, she said I'm married. Oh sucks. <laughs> Wow! I was it's on the dating scene here. <laughs> Hi. Hello. It's Raquel's like sister. <laughs> Raquel's sister in Philippines. He looks different. Oh, you look different. She's okay, light skinned. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I like no, Raquel, you're yeah, you're like brown and I beautiful. My dad. Kumusta na kayo? Hi. Hi. Are you crying? <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> No, you're pretty. You're really pretty. Do you look like me? Huh? <laughs> 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 Oh my! Eh. Nagulat nga ako, parang nagkaroon ng heart attack. <laughs> Supposed to be papasok ko ngayon eh. Pero hindi ako naka, hindi ako pumasok. No choice. No, kung sasabihin niya, makikita pa ulit tayo. Bago ako mamatay. Only 25. You have 50 more years. <laughs> yeah, you're only 25, you said. 25 lang daw ako eh. And you might come to Philippines soon. Yeah. Yeah. You look so pretty. Yeah, how come you're so white? We're brown. You look so pretty, Anak. Love you too. I miss you too. I know, it's a dream, isn't it? <laughs> Life's too short. Yeah. Be happy. I am. Now I am. Are you? Love you too. She met a teacher. Oh, you met a teacher. Oh, I'm still proud of you. You you, you uh, met a good person, right? That's good. Yeah, I still have your ring. Yep, I keep it with the little diamond on it. Yeah? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Come by, oh my god. She said that she looks like Raquel. Lahat naman tayo mga beauty, no? Look at you. Huh? Maganda. Wow, I'm cute. So guys, we're in my tita's place. My ate Sedi, who also lives in London. And my kuya junior. Hi. Yeah. These are my parents. Yeah. Okay. Small world that our relatives live close to Tita Urbana here in London. OMG, my ate Sedi knows her. What a, what a small world! Oh my goodness! It's London, maybe it's a small area. <laughs> we, love, we love to go shopping. <laughs> Do you smell another dog? Hmm, Pinoise? Pinoise is ready to go home. <laughs> He's waiting in the bag. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll see you again. Oh, oh, thought it was a pleasure you. meeting you. Nice mm. to meet you. Mm. Mabuhay squad. Mabuhay squad. Tita Urbana Why, here. <laughs> we'll be. He's the best. Thank you. We'll be watching these vlogs. So leave a message for her, encouraging words of love and welcoming her to the Mabuhay squad. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So just come back. Yeah. Bye, thank you for today. All right, time to go. And guys, this is my cousin Victor. <laughs> Hi there. It's a brand new day, mm -hmm. beautiful morning here in Toronto. 
Um, and you know, yesterday was so beautiful and special to see that reunion, essentially. And you know, like a, it was almost like a kind of a moment of healing for like Raquel and her mom, our new Tita. <laughs> and the sister and it was just so great to see you so beautiful to see it i also learned that whole moment yesterday all of yesterday really taught me that well two things one that it's extremely liberating to face unresolved issues in the past head on you know for whatever reason a lot of us like have skeletons in the closet or unresolved issues in our case in me and rj's case it was us being, you know, part of the LGBTQ community, us us being lovers, like that was stuff that, yeah, we, we thought was beautiful and kept to ourselves because it's our business. But in a way, sometimes we found ourselves like pushing it away, like hiding it in our closet, kind of like it, it was some kind of skeleton, which it wasn't. So um, yesterday was really a display of how great it can be to face things from your past you know what i mean head on um and the second thing i learned was that the past has no bearing in the future it doesn't matter like everything is created in the now and even um tita urbana said that you know it's so important to oh i forgot what she said <laughs> there was something she said that something along the lines of like she looks forward to what the future holds and just doesn't think about the past and i believe in that you know it's great to focus on what can be created in the future as opposed to dwelling on you know being hurt in the past all right guys so this morning we are here at a special place mm -hmm. a place that we have been to in the past in the past vlogs um and we're having a special meeting mm -hmm. Abu High Squad, we're excited to take you to this meeting. And this is a meeting with 